Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator. The Paperless, Poor Paperless Project, I must also admit, has been one of the most uh, reformed processes at the port. And it's something that, as freight forwarders, we have supported from day one. The only issue that we have is that we, we believe that there are some issues we still have to look at them again. The objective set by the Vice President were that one, we should be able to clear the goods within four hours. The joint examination teams was to be reduced from 16 to 3. Compliance was to be abolished. And the risk management was to, examination was to set up for up to 50%. That is, when the consignments get out of the port, you have to reduce the examination on these goods to 50%. If you want to look at the achievements of some of these objectives set out, I must say that we've not been able to achieve these objectives wholly, even though we are happy with what we have done now. Before paperless, we were clearing goods, I must say, within a week. I must say within a week. And when you say within a week, we assume it's about eight hours a day. We don't want to add the night hours when the officers will be having good times with their wives and you still count it against them. So, for example, if you put in a, declare, uh, put in a permit for IDF, you are easily prompted on your phone or via email. Excellent. When you apply for a CCVR with your invoices, parking list, bill of lading and others, Quickly, you are informed that the process has started. When there's a query, you are informed. When there's approval, you are informed. It's an excellent system. We must congratulate the Paperless Port Project for all these achievements. After that, you just doing the declarations in your office. Of course, that time too does not go against the Paperless Port, Port Paperless Project. So you quickly get to know how much you're supposed to pay. And at the bank, I must again confess, you don't spend more than 10 minutes at either, either GCB or EcoBank. You can also even, even effect payment in the comfort of from your office. You can use the, any of the Visa cards or MasterCards or other payment platforms. So we don't, also don't have a problem with the payments. It's quite an improved system. Compliance. F formerly, it was at the long room. Those who know long room in Tema, and you know the hassle that at times you need to go there to get your document through. You need to negotiate, you need to discuss, you'll be refused, you'll be queried. The human factor was just, 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 just too much. At times when you get there, you, re you think that it's a market area. The project has removed the compliance section from Long Room to Customs Head Office, even though we were told it would be abolished. But then what else can we do? We should be happy at least for now what has been done for us. So it has now been removed to Customs Head Office. And I must also say that on the average, initially, we were taking about three hours, four hours to get your documents through. But now, at times, it takes a day or two on the average. It takes a day or two to get your response from You meant compliance. to say four days, not four hours. You meant to say it used to take four days, not four hours. No, compliance hours. was even more than four days. No, I'm talking about compliance. Okay. The whole system, Vice President promised us four hours. And, okay. You said compliance. Compliance, now it's about four hours. Okay. Informally, it was four hours. That was about two days. Now it's about two days. Yes. Now, after compliance, then you'll be prompted again, which is also a very good system, on the alert, either by, uh, via email or by your phone, SMS. Then you move on to the shipping line. Now, you request for an invoice. And here again, thanks to the paperless project system, you immediately receive your invoice in the comfort of your home. So what we normally do is that in the evenings, we just put in all the applications, requests for our invoices. 
In the morning, by the time you start to work, 9 o'clock, the efficient shipping lines would have responded long ago. So you immediately start with your payments, you go to the shipping line, and effect payments, which is also a very good system. And at the shipping line, you don't spend too much time there. I'm just averaging it. Some of them are not doing too well. But then on the average, I'm sure you spend about 30 minutes at the shipping line. Then you move on to the handling companies, GPHA, uh, MPS, and others. There again, you put in your request for an invoice, and there again, it's quite efficient now. At least as compared to the previous system, it's quite efficient now. And you go and effect payment, either at the banks or at their cash points or the other mode of payments that may be available to you. There, then you will be again be prompted that you are ready for examination and you will be given an alert as to even who the team leader is who is to conduct the examination for you. Either the goods are also to be physically examined or delivery allowed. The problem we have is with examination. Uh, it's not it paperless. As asking for documents, he allow you to do even the examination, especially the senior officers. You have times you need to carry physical documents to them for them to inspect before they refer them to their junior officers. And at times, even the junior officer, when you finish with the examination, they also have to refer you to the uh, their senior officers. But I must also again confess quite an improvement upon the previous system. From there, then with the team also comes in. The vice president again promised us that we will reduce the 16 inspection teams to three. There again, yes, it's quite an, a marked improvement in the system. But then uh, the human factor is still there. Before you may finally get out of the port after going through your way. But the other document, only document or hard copy that you would require there could be the way bill. And the national security normally also asks for hard copies before you get out. So, so far, the system existing now, I must say that it's quite okay. It's doing well, but then we believe that there can still be some improvements. Now, what challenges. The challenges, as I, as I initiated earlier on, is about the inspection team. In Tema, for example, they has brought, they brought on board the AC tax force. We have the uh, JCPU and some other smaller inspection companies, even though all of them are under customs and preventive. So we have about four components as one team. And they may not come at the same time they may come at different times, and that makes it quite difficult. Here again, I must also say that my own people, the free forwarders at times, we have also initiated the, the formation of some of these smaller inspection, company, uh, inspection teams. Initially, it was moving on smoothly, and once in a while you hear somebody may describe an item, a whole container of uh, item X, was described as item B. And therefore, the AC not feeling comfortable, not being too sure he'll be able to achieve his targets. He'll say, oh, let me form a tax force to also oversee the activities of the preventive or the oversee the prevent activities of some of the teams at the harbor there. And therefore, there has been some multiplications of uh, inspection companies at the port there. As of now, we have about four instead of the one that uh, the vice president promised us. But then, uh, it's a step that customs has taken just again to prevent uh, leakages and uh, leakages at the port. And I must use this opportunity to uh, advise the freight forwarders also to help and cooperate with the system to make it better. Okay. So, so far, so good. I think that is quite a good system. And the other last item is that 50% that the vice president promised us again they are not too sure whether we are doing the right thing or, or not. The Green Channel has drastically reduced again. Instead of formally, we are having quite delivery allowed, delivery allowed. Now it has drastically reduced 
because one or two freight forwarders did some things wrong. But then that shouldn't deter the system from moving on. So what I also advise that, that's why the fact that there were some badness amongst us, we should still pursue the system and punish those who get it wrong as much as possible so that those who are also doing it right could be encouraged. Thank you very much.